This is California Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. We're at ABC 23 in Bakersfield, California, and we are joined today by Dr. Christine Frazier. She is the superintendent of public instruction in Kern County, and school is starting up and down the state. I want to speak with you about the importance of attendance. Seems simple but it's sometimes not as easily attained. Absolutely. And you know, we put a lot of focus on truancy, as, as we should. What's the difference between truancy and absenteeism, let's call it? Well, truancy, the kids are willfully not attending school. I see. Many times they're roaming the streets, they're getting into trouble. Mm -hmm. Uh, we really partner with the, proba the mm -hmm. probation department, sure. the sheriff's department, the courts, right. to really make sure that those kids are in school. So we have programs that really address that issue right. because it, it takes more force of course. to make sure that the kids are making the right choices. Chronic absenteeism is a little different yes. because it can actually affect every household. What that is, is if your children actually uh, don't attend school for about 10% of the school year. Which is not easy to hit that target, sadly. Well, it's 18 days, which is only two to three days a month. Mm. And so you would be surprised. The average family can actually hit that target pretty easily if they're not paying attention. How do we, though, create a distinction between absenteeism and truancy. Because sometimes it's not the kid's fault. Correct. And so they're deemed a truant, but the child, and they could be in high school, so mm -hmm. it's, you know, especially deemed a truant, but it's, they don't have transportation, they're taking care of their younger sibling who is ill while their parents are at work. So how do we create a situation where you're not using that force that you mentioned? Right and address the, the underlying problem? Well, I think it's, um, it's, it's going to take multiple agencies. Mm -hmm. It's going to take the schools, where the schools are really reinforcing with the kids, positive reinforcement, right. award assemblies. Mm. Oh, so right. the kids yes. themselves want to be in school. But then it's really working with parents so that they schedule their doctor's appointments. Right after school. They don't take extended vacations. They don't add one more day to their long weekend. Right. That they really do pay attention to transportation. At the same time, it is so critical that, and you've taught me this through the materials you provide, that parents create kind of their own community. Absolutely. So if there is a child that is not well, the babysitter doesn't become the older sibling and Correct. therefore missing school. Absolutely. It's a, it's a family culture mm -hmm. where if you take a day for vacation, it's really telling your child that it's okay. Mm -hmm. They start to believe that it's okay to miss a day here, sure. miss a day there. And while it doesn't seem like it makes a big difference, mm -hmm. it really does. Uh, chronic absenteeism, particularly in the early grades, kindergarten, first grade, it can make a huge difference in terms of their reading on grade level by third grade. Can I tell you, I have children, they're now eighth and sixth grade, and I can remember back when they were younger, parents would say, ah, you know, we're going to go to take an extra couple days on our vacation. And I thought, no, no, we, we shouldn't do that. Well, you know, mm -hmm. first of all, there's material they're missing. Right. That, that's number one. But the second part is when they come back, there's a sense that they missed out. They're, they're not with the other kids. And that, you know, that starts to build over time. That's where you, kids don't just say, I don't want to go to school at the last minute. Right. It's over time that they start building those feelings. And I want to ask you about the other kids. Sure. When there are children that are chronically absent, how does it impact the other kids in the classroom who aren't? Well, obviously, we want all kids to achieve. So the teacher is going to make adjustments for those children. Um, and so it, it can impact the classroom. But what happens is they end up in summer school. They end right. up in Saturday school. But it would seem to me that if you have a kid that is absent, and then one of their friends becomes absent, and in a classroom of 20, which now some of these lower grades are, you have two or three chronically right. absent kids, then the teacher has to adjust their lessons. Exactly. And, and so you have the non-chronically absent kids, they get bored, 
And that's the worst thing you can, I mean, <laughs> board kids become troublemakers, God bless them. Exactly. I mean, it really is not just about your kid, it's, it's impacting the entire exactly. school community. You know, we have 180 days of school. Right. And as Americans, we really cherish our summers. Of course. And, and I understand that. That's, that's culturally, mm -hmm. it, it would be very hard. In fact, year-round school, right. it, it, it's right. not gone very yeah, well. No, and, 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 I, and that's okay. But that means you have to, you have to take advantage of every day of that 180. And so you're absolutely right. If a teacher has to delay instruction, that means that that day won't be as rich as it should be. Is the message getting out? to parents, to children, about the critical importance of attending. Look, if you're sick, it's best you stay home. <laughs> exactly. But then again, it's also best that you interact with your teacher so you don't fall behind. Exactly. But outside of that, are they getting the message? Well, what we're doing is mm. partnering with businesses, mm. law enforcement, mm. the schools, to have a PSA air at local movie theaters, right, right, nice. to have handouts at back to school night, to have businesses encourage their employees to make sure their kids are in school, have I, their own messages on their website. I have to tell websites. you, I love the award idea. I mean, sure. there is something about getting that award <laughs> yes. at the assembly, yes. especially yes. in the lower grades. But they even, love it. I mean, this tells you something. It's just, it's just little me, but I remember graduating from high school and there was a child, I don't remember much about high school graduation, but I remember the child who was called up because he hadn't missed one day of school exactly. from K to 12. That's all I remember about my high school graduation. So it really does say a lot. It, it really does. Mm -hmm. and, and if you have multiple kids that are being able to achieve right. this, and, and you're right, sometimes it's because a parent right. made a choice and the child is unable to, to get that perfect attendance. So school districts are, are no longer making it a yearly perfect oh, attendance. A month. Oh, that's I mean, trying to right. make it achievable mm -hmm. for, for students. What do we do, though, about the parents? Because it, there's a lot of literature out there now that parents are often the problem, and we need to stop looking to the high school kid and punishing that high school kid when it's really not their it's fault. It's the parent. Yeah. I, I agree. Well, the, the schools are taking mm -hmm. a more direct method. They're calling parents. They are. Parents can get embarrassed very easily right. if a teacher calls them directly. Right. It's, it's easy to ignore it. Sure or continue bad practices mm -hmm. when you believe that it's getting lost in the system. Right. And school districts, particularly direct teachers, are calling parents and asking them, uh, was this something that could be avoidable? Right. How can we work together? But then how do you, and that's the key, how do you work with a parent in such a way that they're not feeling attacked? Correct. And you can appreciate, especially in Kern County when you know, the shifts are, or you know, if they're working sure. in ag, their shifts can be different than a standard shift. Well, one of the ways is to connect parents. Mm -hmm. For example, if you have car problems, do you have someone right, that you can call? Right, that's the community, right. Do you have someone that can watch your child that's mm -hmm. ill and not rely on a high school student? Right. Making the connections between community members. So it's not all the schools, it's not all business, that it's communities getting involved as well. You know, it really, in a lot of ways, is the little things. And messages like yeah. this can get lost in, in the wake of, you know, SAT scores exactly. and some test scores, exactly. but these little things count. They really do. Kern they County is lucky to have you. Thank you. Her name is Dr. Christine <laughs> Frazier. She is the Kern County Superintendent of Public Instruction. We are at 23ABC in Bakersfield, California. We thank you so much for joining us on California Edition.